Ooh, we got some post burn reviews and bonus. We got some wallflowers to talk about. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here. Happy April, everyone. As you all can see, yes, new month means new background. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But yes, most importantly, we have another episode of the weekly candle post burn review. Elves, I know you all enjoy these for my candle lovers. As always, when it comes to the weekly candle post burn review, I rate candles by what? Y'all know this there's three categories the first category is burn experience and that's literally how did the candle perform did it burn well did it tunnel did the wicks drown and we talk about it there second is throw and that is on a scale of one to ten with one being scentless wax to ten being powerhouse nuclear candle that i need to blow it out so i don't choke <laughs> then the third and final category very important is very plain very simple is simply would I repurchase this candle again? And that is a yes or a no answer. So now you know how we do things. And like I stated, be all very excited. We have six candles to discuss, three different brands. And I will also share my wallflower haul because Bath and Body Works did a wallflower sale finally. And y'all, I was down to two wallflowers and they were winter wallflowers. Um, it's spring, so yeah. We'll talk about that after the reviews, but before we get into everything, you know what we must do first. Lipstick of the day today, everyone. We're giving purple, and this is the Lipstick Whirl from MAC, but of course, y'all know that's my favorite lip brand. I do have a gloss over it. All the additional details will be linked below as always, so you know how to get this look. Next up, we have fragrance of the day, everyone. And this is one for the lounge days or the chill days because it's definitely the mood of today, y'all. And the fragrance of the day is Gentle Fluidity Gold from the house of Mason Francis Crepe Jean or MFK for short. This is a very lovely vanilla fragrance. Very chill, very effortless, very blind reach. When I don't know what to wear, this works for me. Yes. Gentle Fluidity Gold from MFK. So now we've taken care of the business, let's get into these post burn reviews. First candle, this one is technically out of season, but hey, it was cold, so I burned it. We're talking about from the House of Bath and Body Works, you all. This is Tipsy Elf. I love the name, and it's just way too cute. And of course, it has elf in it. You all love the elves, so I mean, hey, see why we got it. <laughs> so the notes in Tipsy Elf were merry vanilla, joyful nutmeg, and a sneaky elf with a heavy splash of rum. Mm, very bad elf. Very much a Christmas candle because of the rum and the nutmeg, but let's get into the burn experience. As you all can see, burned all the way down. It has a soft baby pink type of wax color, which I thought was cute. So for burn experience, it definitely burned all the way down. I can't complain, didn't really mess up or anything. So I don't have to do anything with it. I could just light it and go about my business. Second, y'all, let's talk about this throw of this candle. This one was pretty decent. The throw on Tipsy Elf to me was about a seven. So above average, but not necessarily outstanding. It was cute. I was hoping this one was going to be another remake or rendition of my favorite Christmas candle from Bath and Body Works and it is the Butter Rum Eggnog but alas this is not a dupe unfortunately so they tr it was like an attempt it was like a cousin but a distant cousin to Butter Rum Eggnog so it left me wanting more. So you all can already tell how I'm going with this for the last category and that is would I repurchase this candle again? It's a no because I just rather Bath and Body Works bring back Butter Rum Eggnog and they can leave this one behind. But it was a cute attempt but it missed. Tipsy Elf from Bath and Body Works. Next candle we have, this is from Diamond Candles, you all. This was from the Valentine's Day collection. This is the literal name, Happy Valentine's Day, which was meant to embody red roses and that is literally what this candle smells like. <laughs> I can still smell it. So single wick tumbler style candle, as you all can tell, burned all the way down. So let's talk about this burn experience. So this one was very nice. Definitely if you have to have a long type of wick lighter, um, candle lighter to light this one because this is really deep down. So that's, that's the only thing to remember when you're dealing with tumbler candles. That's not necessarily a diamond candles thing. That's just, you know, any brand. Um, you definitely need to trim your wicks with this one because if not, it will mushroom and it will pop. So I had to use my wick trimmers a few times as well, but once I trimmed my wicks on it, then it was fine and it just burned flawlessly. So now let's get into the throw on this one. Now this one was a softer candle in comparison to its sibling, the chocolate covered strawberries, which you all know, I absolutely love that candle. I'm standing 10 toes down with that one. This one was a little bit lighter. Throw on this one, in my opinion, 
this one was about a six to me so slightly above average i wish it was stronger it didn't give me enough definitely smelled authentic to red roses but it wasn't as loud as i would have preferred it to be it didn't project as much so you already can tell where i'm going with this one would i repurchase happy valentine's day for me no i wouldn't because i like the smell i just wish it was a little bit stronger when it was burning so that's my take on diamond candles happy valentine's day next candle everyone oh this was one i was so glad i got my hands on because it literally was the last one in my store this is the infamous from bath and body works pistachio and toasted vanilla candle this this is one that they needed to make more of maybe they were nervous that it wasn't going to do well but this was a total hit in the candle community else let me know what you think about pistachio and toasted vanilla because I know this was everything to me and a lot of people were recommending it to me and this one was definitely worth the hype. I just gotta go ahead and say that now. So let's get into the notes. So we have notes of salted pistachios, toasted vanilla almonds with natural essential oils, of course. So this is a pistachio and almond note. And let me tell y'all something. I love almond candles from Bath and Body Works. I already knew this was gonna be a yes. Ah, uh, it's still good. Even burned all the way down. Check it out. I let this thing like literally burn all the way down. Cause I tell you, this was so good. Throw on this one was a nine. So it was in a powerhouse territory. It was this loud creaminess that was happening because pistachio is kind of a creamy vibe to me as well as almond. Uh, it just worked. And it was a slight sweetness to it, y'all. It was just, this was just good. <laughs> Bath and Body Works, please bring this candle back. Like, please. I don't care. You can bring it back in the summer at this point, even though this was technically a holiday winter candle. I don't care. You can bring it back in the dead of summer and we're going to buy it. It was that good. So yes, we would repurchase this one again. I would literally buy this one again. Dare I say this candle is hoard worthy. And I don't give that designation often, but this was a hoard worthy candle mm -hmm, for sure. Pistachio and toasted vanilla was an absolute yes to me from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Next candle we have you all this is from homeworks and this is the peanut butter waffle cone candle i've had this one before but it was nice to get another one again and let's get into it so we have notes of brown sugar waffle cone and cracked peanuts caramel drizzle and maple sugar gourmand 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 total gourmand lovers type of candle i like the color of the wax too check that out Ooh, this is still strong even burned all the way down because i've had the lid on this thing while i've been saving it to review and whew, yeah <laughs> so let's talk about it while burn experience on this peanut butter waffle cone it did its thing look at that beautiful flawless victory no issues to report flames got a little bit high towards the end but at that point i didn't care so let's talk about this scent y'all this is definitely a peanut butter scent but heavy on the peanuts yes heavy on the peanut this is for the person that likes the crunchy peanut butter and not necessarily the person that likes the creamy peanut butter because you can definitely smell the authentic peanut in here for sure everything else mentioned the maple syrup the waffle all that, all that is secondary to peanut so if you are a literal peanut lover smell you like that this is the candle for you throw on this candle was an eight so very strong we are here for it like head off he likes peanuts i know i like peanuts so we enjoyed this candle a lot and this was amazing in cooler weather for sure now would i repurchase this one again yes because again like I say i like peanuts and then i like the fact that it has a sweetness because of the caramel the maple and all that it was a fun cozy gourmand type of scent so it worked it really worked and dare i say i think i enjoyed it more a second time around than i did the first time around so i'm very happy that i got this one again so homeworks peanut butter and waffle cone was a yes i really did enjoy this one it's good next up we have also from homeworks this is the spiced ginger snap candle i was so happy about this one because i hadn't seen it and hadn't really seen many people talking about it so spiced ginger snap you all we have notes of ginger cookie cinnamon clove bourbon vanilla so another heavy on the gourmand sense y'all this one was strong it was loud that clove was cloving please understand that and i like the wax color check that out it matches the packaging super pretty i like it for weeks so y'all burn experience did this thing this one didn't take long to pull out and to start throwing at all i could smell this candle within an hour i was like whoa I mean, on cold, it was already strong, y'all, but yeah, it was loud. So you can already tell when I'm about to go with this. Throw on a scale of one to 10, 10. This was a 10. I had to blow it out. <laughs> I had to blow it out a few times because it just got to cloven so much. I was like, okay, now. 
Whew, okay, <laughs> it absolutely has to be cold outside to burn this candle because it was in the middle of the seasons right now where it's one day is 70 degrees, the next is 30 degrees at nighttime. No, it got to be on that 30 degrees at nighttime side. It cannot be above 50 degrees when you burn this or you're going to choke. So I have to say that. But now would I repurchase this one again? Yes, I would for the holidays. This is a fantastic scent for the holiday season. Spice, ginger snap, homeworks definitely needs to bring this back out because yeah it delivers for that whole clove season's greetings but foodie type of vibe you don't want everything to smell like a christmas tree that type of thing yeah this is the type of scent i like so spiced ginger snap was a absolute yes it just needs to be cold <laughs> all right last candle everyone this was one that was very highly anticipated because we hadn't seen it in a minute it's from bath and body works and this is a wine cellar holographic label get into that it's cute so notes for wine cellar were mold apples fresh fig cedar wood so heavy on this is going to be a yeah cold weather scent because of fig cedar wood my apples mm-hmm you know what this was very authentic smelling to a red wine so i think they nailed the concept so i have to talk about that yes love the wax color perfect very beautiful merlot wine type of color i think it's beautiful i would prefer this in a lipstick though mm -hmm, i would so let's talk about this burn experience it did well this one pulled out fast which a lot of times colored wax do with bath and body work so i have no complaints with the burn experience at all even burn do what it needs to do let's talk about the throw in this one the throw in this one i actually expected a little bit more out of you you gave me about a six i was expecting more of an eight <sighs> So that left me wanting more. I'm a little disappointed in that. And for that reason, you can kind of tell where I'm about to go with this. Would I repurchase Wine Cellar again? I bought this one just because I had heard about it from past and people that have been collecting longer than me and burning candles longer than me from Bath & Body Works. Now that I've experienced Wine Cellar, I'm like, okay, I'm good. It's a one and done. So I don't have to get it again. It's a no. Bath & Body Works Wine Cellar. All right, and as promised here at the end of the video, here is my wallflower haul because bath and body works had a 295 wallflower sale and we needed that i know i did it was let me know did you participate in the sale let me know in the comments below and i was really happy because i ended up discovering that one of my all-time favorite scents came back and i had no idea that it was coming back so i was like yes i need this so i'm gonna go ahead and cut to the chase because uh yeah i got two of them and the fragrance i am talking about is saltwater breeze you all I was obsessed with the candle version of this in 2020. Ugh, they need to bring that back. They keep like coming back with body care, wallflowers. Like, no, we need the three week candle bag because it was just everything. For those that might be wondering, for saltwater breeze, the notes are fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. This typically is a summer scent, which I mean, we're kind of heading into the summer scents. If you can tell with Bath and Body Works, everything's tropical. But y'all, this is my summer baby. It just, y'all know I love my laundry day, sunders linen and all that, but when it comes to summer clean, saltwater breeze. So I picked up two. Then I noticed the head elf, he decided to come with me, you all. I noticed he kept smelling anything related to cactus blossom. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna put this in the bathroom that we share because I know he'll enjoy this. So I got a cactus blossom. Notes in cactus blossom are cactus flower petal, sun-kissed coconut, vanilla, and sparkling lemon. Hmm, I feel like the notes are different now for cactus blossom. That's interesting. But alas, he liked it, so I got one. You know. <laughs> Uh, this is a summer classic you know it and love it and this weekend this is just like a fruity scent to me i don't, I don't even remember the notes so we got fresh summer mandarin sun-kissed magnolia and blue coconut water i love the candle in this but i'm not ready for the candle so i was like let me just get a wallflower just to have on deck for when say june july gets here then i'm so glad turquoise waters is back you all saw me recently haul the candle for it so I picked up the wallflower. Turquoise Waters has a kind of masculine marine feel, but it's not too masculine. I like it. We got coastal waves, sparkling bergamot, and sun-drenched musk. I think it's just beautiful. Last wallflower I picked up, cause the candle was so good that I was like, okay, I'm gonna get the wallflower this time. This is the iced dragon fruit tea. Yes, this was so unexpectedly good last year. And I'm like, yes, notes we are, Notes are tropical dragon fruit, vibrant green tea lemonade, sweet coconut milk, 
this was one that's just a heavenly concoction so it's a yes and that is all the wallflowers that i picked up so all right elves that wraps up this weekly candle post burn review as well as sharing my wallflower haul let me know what you think of the candles i burned elves what candles have you burned let me know in the comments below again did you pick up any wallflowers from the wallflower sale bath and body works had recently let me know which scents did you get because it's kind of hard right now so i just tend to buy something for spring and summer so that way i'm good for a minute and I don't gotta go buy anymore because it's been a minute since they've been doing those sales now. They're starting to spread the sales a little bit more, but hey, we're just gonna haul when they are on sale and keep it moving. But last, Elves, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.